Hey guys, today's video is going to be about a very strong and very sneaky shoulder lock. It generally happens, with me at least, off a butterfly sweep. The grip that I'm using is different than most jiu-jitsu guys will use. It was taught to me as a Russian tie on a takedown attempt. Here it is, standing up. Most guys aren't used to it. See what you think. So let's look at the position. To get to the position to finish this Kimura, the only way I've really found that's effective is from a butterfly sweep. So let's say I'm in guard. I get this Russian tie. This comes from wrestling. You saw I uh, standing up earlier. But I grab and I'm going to hook. I'm going to punch his hand towards my crotch. So this flares the elbow out a little bit. It's like a chicken wing. There are a variety of sweeps I can hit from this position. But to get to the position easily for this Kimura, I want to have a butterfly hook in on the far side. So I keep this locked in tight. I'm curling towards my face. I'm punching down. I'm going to sweep from here. I'm gonna to look to get my underhook, keeping the head on the ground, and notice where his hand is right here. I'm going to slide towards his head as I lift up, and I get the tap. So, from, again, from the sweep is how I would get here. If he's down, I would never wanna let pressure off from side control to grab his arm here. It just doesn't make sense. So, I have it trapped during the sweep, and how I like to do it is put my fist on his sternum. And I'm not gonna be loose in the wrist. Very strong here. The higher his hand, the harder it's gonna to be to finish. So I wanna make sure that it's down lower. Even if we're in the gi and he's grabbing his belt, if I put the bottom of my ribs or my hip bone on his wrist, there's gonna be a lot of torque. So I've got this underhook here. Notice I'm gonna start high so you can see it. As I settle, there's my hip bone on it. I'm gonna slide out towards the feet here. So as I slide, I lift. Very, very strong. If he had his hand hidden, what I could do is just be patient and I can lift, lift it up so he starts to take his arm out. I can slide down on it, get the tap. It's a very surprising one. When you do it, be really gentle because the guy won't know he's in trouble, maybe until there's a little bit of pain. I like to hit that sweep. If that's there, I go for it. If it's not, I'm on top in side control. I look for something else. As always, guys, thanks for watching. That's a really sneaky one. Be careful and have fun training.